told to Jeremy, to my son Finchy, that I had a very bad day. Even tomorrow morning, I have a very bad day. Very bad day. I saw my office, they manage a project, and really when I saw this project, I say, this was my project, but this is a sheet. <laughs> and I tried to kill them. There are a lot of people. It was not easy. I wanted to kill them. But as, uh, I am, uh, after I understood that I was the only one responsible of this. Uh, because I do uh, these things, which is very lovely for me, perhaps, I don't know for you, but after I am, I am an architect, and I had to decide all what we are doing, all the details, all the materials, each piece of the building. And this project is very huge, uh, but tomorrow I come back, uh, uh, I want to go on. I am just an architect. This is what I want to be. No, I didn't want to be an architect. I want to be a painter. But my mother say, say me when I say, I want to be a painter, she said, I see the image of your fallit bankrupt behind you. And I was so afraid of this. My mother has died when she was 101 years. And then I, she said, no, now you go to the university. You decide what you want to do. And then I said, I can do philosophy. She was professor of philosophy. She said, no, she said, no. And after I have no idea, other idea, I say, architecture? Ah, yes, this could be good for you. And after I start this, the first two years I start to do, I say, now I want to do this very fast. After I go away, I can do my paintings. And after the first year, the first two years I did a lot of examinations, everything is okay, and uh, all my colleagues in this school say, Fuchs is an awful young guy, he doesn't take care of architecture, and after I arrived in London, I was yet 18 years old, and I was working in, the, in one hotel, I think, no, I was, uh, in this time I was, uh, uh, clean the dish, dish cleaning. I did this, and after I did the even, the, uh, and after I was upgraded, I did a pizza. This was upgraded. I had more money. <laughs> and after I met one friend of mine, in the, I don't know, Trafalgar Square, he told me, and you are a student of architecture. And here yeah, there is something interesting for you. You are a painter. Good to see them. They are very crazy. They are not really architects. They are like in garage. You can work there. You and they went there. And this place was Archigrab. I never heard before. Archigram, what is? And after I saw that they make some collage, some paint, drawings. This could be good. I said, I can do something. Yes, we don't pay you. You can do what you want. <laughs> but don't destroy the materials. And then I started this way. Then, now I show you something. Otherwise, uh, you say. I have to, to, to show you something. Too much light? No. Oh, good.
This is a homage to Holland. You know why? Because uh, this building is a part of a complex. This is in Eindhoven. Eindhoven is a place where we, I work, uh, I did a central area. And uh, the first thing that I discovered in this video, that uh, this was Philips Festival, it's like your festival, Festival of Light, that architecture is a support, a support of surface. Architecture can be a place that an artist can use. And uh, I discovered after that many of my projects, our project, Dorian and me, Dorian is not here, but I love still there. Then uh, it's a place that they can use. And for, for perhaps uh, that I did always in my life the same thing. I, this is the building during the day. Uh, they call this blob, but it's the name that I, I, I gave it to this object. You know, they say to me, what is the name of this object? Blob. Just blob. And after the piazza, the entrance of us, this is the biggest parking of my life that I did for bikes. I discovered that here they use quite only bikes. I did a parking for bikes. And I was so happy. And after I did something else, this is a and steel, uh, and uh, I try to reorganize the city. And this building is just in front of the building on the Job Ponte. And they say, why you build this? To see Job Ponte. <coughs> to go there to watch Job Ponte. You know who was Job Ponte? No. no. How many people of you know Job Ponte? One, uh, you are so called educated. <laughs> too much, too much, too much, too much. I am thinking always the, 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 the worst. Then uh, Gioponti built this uh, for, this is a, a magazine, a magazine, no, a magazine, a store, a store, how do you say? Office store. Department store, perfect. Grazie. Department store for one company that is still living there. And, uh, and there is uh, the tiles there, and I want that uh, everybody can see the tiles, uh, the magic, happy and dramatic way in which tiles take light. And they build something uh, not far from this, uh, you can see the, the, another one is there with tiles, uh, and after the piazza, 17th September, I think the name, in the night. And after there is, uh, now uh, I found again this project. Uh, I remember this project. One night, called me, my office was very late in the night. Uh, Someone, he say, are you Mr. Fuchs? Yes, I am. Ah, I want to give you a commitment for a project. You are welcome. <laughs> he say, but uh, the program, ah, there is no program at all. At the budget, how much you want? He said, this is a perfect, but a little bit crazy. So I said, what are you doing? I am Grappa Nardini. It's 225 years that our family runs this company. Grappa. Grappa, let's say. Can you come in Roma to visit me, maybe? So I want to see you a little bit. No, I can come, I, even if I am... Uh, 
80 years old. He came in Rome. We have a lunch together. And uh, he said, uh, he showed me some images. Some images of uh, the park, in park garden, uh, with uh, some guy he was working with. Uh, this guy was uh, Porcinai, very great uh, paisagist, landscape architect. And then I said, but now, we, do you know what we can do? We can do a place to watch, to see the trees. Yeah, yes, say, it's a good idea. And we did a sketch on the, on the piatto, plate, dish. There is no, the, the, the other side, they say, they say the, I have just this, because uh, uh, he take the place. This is a theater. This, uh, this is water. This is trees. It's life. And after, we build this. Was uh, oh, what you see now is the last uh, 17, 16, 17 years work. Not very old. The glass is double curved. There was uh, a guy that was uh, living not far from this place, that I remember the name. The name was Bergamini. Uh, he worked after many, many years after for Frank Gehry. He did the project in Paris of Gehry. This guy was so fantastic and uh, The only problem of this, I want to really have a very close to these two bubbles. Bubbles. Bolle. Everybody calls this Bolle di Nardini. But what is bad? The best is this. This is water. But after, I discovered three years ago, in summertime, in July, they have a festival of contemporary ballet. They use this building for contemporary ballet during the winter. It's a place in which they make research, they make a meeting, they work, and after this is this, you see, then you can see that uh, architecture is something, the good for me, a group project is a project in which you can during the time, used in different way. It's like Teatro Marcelli in Roma. That was, you know Teatro Marcelli in Roma? Yes, yes, I know, I know. That uh, in the beginning was a theater, first century, I think. After this was uh, a place where people take out some stones. And after it became a fortress, castle, and after palace, and after house for living. It's still there. It's still beautiful. Then when there is a, this is my really my obsession. When you have something that can change, can be something. Then this is a, the only idea was to put the water in second floor. And they have always the same water without drops inside. This is a Ferrari, you know, Ferrari car. Uh, this, uh, I want to do this, uh, by the way, without columns. Stones, stones from volcanic, Italian volcanic, and the big red glass. It's something like, something like uh, Kubrick. All this project was like Kubrick, uh, cinema, or Kubrick or Hitchcock for me. Do you want to tell me something? You can come in. Huh? Okay. We stop at five minutes, and after we come back. Huh? Okay. I'll show you. No? Yeah, no, it's fine. We can, we can talk about Kubrick and architecture. Yeah, yeah. oh, Kubrick, where do you want? Yeah. <laughs> where, what do you want? 
Well, I think that's, it's an interesting reference because there is a Kubrickian feel to, to that building because, you know, whether it's 2001 A Space Odyssey or the Clockwork Orange, which actually... You know the years. Uh, 2001 is 71, I think. 68. 68, okay. Uh, Six, it's true. Okay. <laughs> Can you check someone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but, but I think what Kubrick was an incredible sort of a conceiver of uh, an intense drama. And in that, of course, the, the, the setting, the frame, was really important. But for him, it was a drama. It was, it was the, um, you know, the, um, uh, what would you call it, the conflict between the man and the machine in 2001 A Space Odyssey. And it was in, in um, Clockwork Orange, it was the conflict between, the, well, within the heads of the different people. Um, and I think that he was absolutely brilliant at capturing that anxiety. He did. Yeah, for me, Kubrick is someone that never did the same uh, team, same subject. Yeah, yeah. He did, uh, I don't remember the number. It's only about seven or eight. Seven, seven, yeah. seven. There is, a no, there is only one team they never touched. Mm, mm. You know, surely. I tell you. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's Western. Yeah. He never did the Western, but he wanted to do a Western. Uh, yeah. Well, well I, I saw a film of his which isn't shown very much recently, um, Barry Lyndon, yeah. which is of a, a Thackeray novel. And it, it's... The same team for all the film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that, the film has a theme, but, but it doesn't obviously relate to his other work. Yes. And because if you think of um, uh, Dr. Strangelove, which is, you know, an extraordinary film that foretold Nixon, Kissinger, and all sorts of other things that would... Yeah. <laughs> it's very contemporary film. Yeah, yeah. Werner von Braun is... Von you know, Braun. Uh, yeah, yeah. And after we will live under the ground for... How much? For 200 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see... Yeah. And we will see, we have to select the best women, the best men, more yeah. women than men, of course, yeah. it was perfect. Yeah. The film that if you see, so say, say, okay, I'll say no, 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 you can, uh, you are the, I'm fine. I host. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are host, I don't know. Well, we can host don't know each other. Yeah. We have to nurse each other. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, this is uh, a project that without, we, we didn't want columns. Mm. We want to use... We do everything that you have in the building to have the building suspended. Was not my idea. I discovered this many years after. Hmm. Was an idea of a project that was built in the beginning of the 60s hmm. by one people of Buenos Aires, fantastic architect. They did uh, whatever. The, the Bank d'Angleterre, La Bank d'Angleterre, La Bank, Bank d'Angleterre. Yeah. It was, this building was all suspended. It was the roof, the ten of this, the bring. Yeah. And only the, the notes yeah. take the building. Yes. He was a very good friend of mine. But I discovered him, that he did this after, uh, I met him many years mm -hmm. after, now he's passed. And after, this building is only to the, the distances between the, this is Kubrick, mm. exactly what you say, yeah. to monolite. Yeah, yeah. And it's the distance between two monolite is 4.3, mm. 4, four meters, say 30 centimeters. Right. The tension between. Yeah, yeah. This was. And this is in Vienna? No, this uh, we did in Vienna. Okay, yeah. yeah. This we did in Vienna. Yeah. My tower, two towers, 20 years ago. Yeah. But it's also Mies van der Rohe. Ah, this is, ah. <laughs> this is, everybody say, yeah. are you, the, the corner is perfect. Yes. You did the, the best corner. The light. I say, I didn't care of this. 
I want only to put the tension between the two monolithes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the corner is really that uh, I work a lot. Uh, yeah. I say always, no, I don't care about this. <laughs> and this is the light, I bring the light on. Uh, like many projects I, mm. we did. Dorian is always with me, eh? I did the master plan, uh, the other different uh, uh, distinguished colleagues. Uh, uh, this was uh, before I built the other parts. It's extraordinary because it's not what you think of Vienna at all. You know, Vienna is prim and proper and people wear starch shirts and they wear cufflinks and they polish their This shoes. is the entrance of uh, the way it's interesting for me, this project, yeah. because it's, uh, it's something, it's, uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's something that is uh, near the social housing. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, the entrance of Vienna from the south. <laughs> Trieste Strasse, from Italy. Yeah. And uh, this, I was very happy to build this because uh, there is uh, another obsession in my life. Mm. I am uh, not completely Italian. Eh? <laughs> my name is clear that it's not completely Italian. Yeah, yeah. No, it's... Uh, Vienna was a place when my father died, if you want to know. Eh? <laughs> I was 60 years old. And, uh, and my grandmother, she was German. Mm. Uh, she was remarried with a historian. Yeah. And both are become uh, bourgeois, uh, Austrian yeah. bourgeois. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then she bring me in, uh, in, uh, in the south, southeast of uh, Austria. Mm in Bad Gleichenberg, near Graz. <laughs> Graz, uh, I could not, when I was a child, I could not go to Vienna because Vienna was occupied by Russian, mm. all around, inside. And my family came from Lithuania. Mm. Then I was always uh, something, uh, my father never, uh, he, 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 he never want to change uh, the passport, even when yeah. it was no more. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, okay. And after I built in, in Vienna, I could not go, I built there. My mother, my grandmother, she was from uh, Strasbourg, but she was German, and I built in Strasbourg. Mm. And there is some other things that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, well, I think it's interesting that your connection, I mean, being born in Rome and studied in Rome and having lived in Rome, um, you're actually really Central European because there's a Estonia and Lithuania. And all. My mother, she's from Roma. Your mother's from Rome, but, but your father's family were from... Uh, from middle, middle Europe. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, of course, is a sort of culture that died, some would say, in 1933 or 38 or 45, and it's been very difficult to put it back together again. You know, even, even now we're still struggling with, you know, what's Old East and West. It's always this. It's, uh, it's like uh, some, uh, it's uh, between two things. Yeah, yeah. The Central Europe, Germany. Yeah. German, uh, Austria, Czech, uh, mm. parts of Russia, Belarus, they are... Or why is in the middle of something? Yeah. Uh, this is another, sometime I make a paintings before I start to, to build or to try to build. This is a, this is a big draw. It's a, this is a belong to my daughters. It's a, the first idea of Fiera di Milano. It's mm. a nature, architecture, yeah. teach it to the nature how it could be. Yeah, yes. It's, but this is, I see this as, as, a, as a roof. It's a roof, yes. I say nature, yes. architecture, teacher yeah. to the nature. Yeah, yeah that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when, and after we built, yeah. one mile, mm. we did. 
24 months. It is water, always. Quite all the project because water saves energy. <laughs> I don't want to have a rhetoric uh, of sustainability. The, the roof looks something like water running yeah. uh, in a river. Take uh, water. Yeah. Bring water inside right. and give it the water to the, all the bills. Yeah. Now, this is the best of my life. Yeah. When you do a project and the people can use this yeah. project. <laughs> When I saw this, uh, I, I say, ah, I am not so stupid. <laughs> they can use our buildings. <laughs> they can live with our. And after the, uh, the mirror, the double ways, it's like of style of uh, many culture in Middle mm -hmm. European, that this is a stainless steel that I don't want to see this, I want to see the reflect. <laughs> All this project is uh, about the reflecting. Like, like another movie of, uh, of Kubrick. Mm. Yeah. May I did this before, this movie. This is the light, <laughs> and the water, and the water, and the Alps. <laughs> and the skyline of the building is uh, Take the Alps, La Piazza. Without columns, you see, mm. the, the, the structural engineer that I call was a nice person, Schleich. Yeah. One of the best structural engineers. He's a little bit old, but he's always very clever. <laughs> he helped me a lot for this project. Because I didn't want to have a columns. <laughs> and after this, uh, and after the building can be some other things, can be used. It can be a place where art, when people, we say La Fura des Baus, can use like a piece only to show how much they are good, mm. and not to show how much is the project is beautiful. Is, uh, this is uh, that idea after I did this I want to show you. <laughs> this uh, is my ego. <laughs> my, it's not really my ego because I was uh, fighting against our first minister in that time. See the, the, the year. Eh? Yeah. You remember who was uh, the minister, Italian prime minister in that time? You remember? Berlusconi? No. Eh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I. He invited me, for, of course, for inauguration, for the opening. Yeah. It was the biggest project that I ever, never done. Yeah. One million square meters. Very successful, very good, everybody. Mm. I say, no. I don't want to go to the inauguration. Because my mother, I speak about my family, why not? <laughs> she told me that she doesn't want to see me in television, that I shake the end of Berlusconi. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't wait. I didn't wait. And Berlusconi was very hungry. He <laughs> make a big title of him, all the journals of Berlusconi. Folks that say, take money, it's a shit, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but after, even if I was not so nice guy, mm. they did uh, this. This was a drawing of mine. Yeah. This is my name. Yeah. <laughs> and I am still living. Yeah. <laughs> because it's always. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a Frankfurt. To see the light, the sky mm. inside, in the city. And to see the landscape. Yeah. Tell me something. Okay, well, I think this is a very good example of what you were talking about, that architecture carries a surface. And here the surface is very rich. I see it, too. It, 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 it curves and it deforms in all sorts of ways. But it's a surface that can pick up different colour, different light, 
different reflections. And so it becomes a very rich, almost like a tapestry in that, you know, it's not literally handmade, but there are different instances that create the individual different moments on that surface. It is uh, certainly what you say is a, is a new concept of landscape. Mm. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. <laughs> inside, 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 inside. Then uh, the client say, this is a competition, was a competition that I won against very distinguished colleagues. Mm. Because the client say, in which way I can reach the fourth floor? I say, well, we can do mechanical staircase. Yeah. <laughs> he said, ah, it's a good idea. <laughs> and we did uh, the longest staircase <laughs> in, in Europe. <clears throat> it's what, it's, it it's, was very happy because yeah. it works very well. Yeah, it's what, about five floors, six floors? Yeah, yeah. five. Five, yeah. Like it's, uh, and the light, I bring always yeah. the light down. But this is movement on a, you know, it's like one of those machines <laughs> were thought to explain the universe, where you have different objects moving at different speeds. So here you have you know, the, the escalator or whatever it is, yeah. the people walking. You've got the, the different um, images on the surface. You know, it's, it's, it, it's multi layers of movement that don't have to fit together. Like cinema. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I try to do cinema. Yeah. Then uh, uh, one day, my daughter speak again in my family. Yeah, yeah. One of the two daughters. What do I say? <coughs> she she decided to do to be an actor, but she was not very convinced. She went to New York. And she had uh, the summer, summer, summer to, to to go to do a master in Colombia. Yeah. And after I uh, I come, I came uh, in New York to visit her. I, I say, oh, no, I have to do to have a lecture to talk. Yeah. I want to see her. She said, I have to tell you, I am very happy, but I have to tell you, I am doing master, master in cinema. <laughs> well, you are architect. He said, but I, do, I did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And have you worked together on... No, now he's doing this, uh, her third... Uh, Film, a long okay, film, right. long metrage. Yeah, is uh, the the third one is the name is app for Netflix. Okay, it's the name is app. Yeah, application. Yeah. it's a story of uh, two persons that uh, decide uh, to use uh, to understand better yeah. what's happened in the application for yeah. sex meeting. Okay, yeah, and this is uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> then, uh, and after, she's okay. Yeah. She's a British uh, actress. Mm. Uh, but him, fall in love. <laughs> fall in really love. He never see her. He cannot see her. Mm. It's only by phone, by computer, by mail. Eh? Yeah. Not fall in love for her. Yeah. And after he discovered, at the end, there is an algorithm. <laughs> she is an algorithm. She's not really, but she was perfectly better than better than everybody. This, I saw this film uh, three days ago. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, this is even an algorithm yeah. without columns. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a very simple. From the void, came in aspiration, came inside, and after I could go down. Mm. The same holes that you ever see outside mm. became the building inside that bring the light down. Uh, they, they remind me a bit of whirlpools in the sea. See. You know, the, uh, this is a very good... Uh, yeah. Then uh, mm. I hire one architect, one engineer, structural engineer, mm. that was in the office of Schleich. Yeah. And it's very good. Yeah. And we have no, no water inside. 
Yeah, you say, well, well, the big problem was this. Yeah. And after it's okay, it's okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This is the night. We come back. And after there is something very small. <laughs> very small. It's a Roma. We void all these buildings. Also, the first year so of the 20th century, uh, there is inside some light mm. that came, and uh, there is a place to see Roma. To do what? Nothing. To see what's happened. Uh, there is a couple, a couple, a dom. It's the dom in English. Dom, yes. Dom. Yeah. The dom of Pietro da Cortona. Baroque architect, fantastic architect, with Santa, with this building there. Yeah. Via del Corso, with the queen. Oh, there is other project uh, for Giorgio Armani, a tower, Ginza Tower in Tokyo, a eh, so on. This is uh, an interior because we love it. Interior, we do everything. We do from the knife. Mm. To the tower, right? <laughs> <laughs> For the spoon yeah. to a city, like Gideon say. But did you design any of the clouds? <laughs> Perfect. But this, uh, you know this, but no, you don't know this. I, I haven't seen this one, no. Ah, okay. Then this, uh, do, do you want to know even the story of this? Uh, but we have time. Uh. Yeah, we've got time, yeah. My friend, Mr. Finch, we have time? Yeah. yeah. You said me, stop. Hey, I stop <laughs> when you want. Okay. Then, uh, one day, Giorgio Armani, good friend of Doriana, mm. asked to Doriana and me if we want to find a solution for this uh, big project, uh, uh, this store, the, the flagship that he has in mm. Fifth Avenue. And this was the idea to, to, to do like a sculpture, yeah. a place that you can come, change the, the section, have different levels. And uh, this was the idea. Uh, he was very happy. <laughs> a few days after, he said, Massimiliano Doriano, I love you, but... The contractor in New York say that I did this in three months. I need to spend something, no modest, but something quite good. Mm -hmm. he, want, he, he needs three years to build. And the cost is 10 times that you announced. <laughs> Typical architect. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> We say, we want to build this. And then uh, we remember some Italian guy that was a very small factory in the north of Italy. Mm. We call them, him. He arrived. He said, I am very happy to work with you. And after I showed the project, I showed this. I show even this. Even this! <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's true. Eh? I love what it says here, not part of Armani space. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but then uh, uh, it take uh, 10 minutes, and after I said, Yes, I can do. <laughs> in which way? No, I build this in my factory. Yeah. And after I cut in pieces. Yeah. And I ship this in New York. Yeah. And after I rebuild. Yeah. He did this. Uh. Yeah, it's unbelievable. This is Italian, eh? 
Sí, 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 típico el italiano. <risa> you can see this in other country, no? China, perhaps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps China. Anyway, it's exactly this. The project is this. Uh, and after there are small project like uh, this uh, church. Yeah. I am uh, not the real champion of the faith, faithful. But uh, we built inside there is a cube. Mm. In another cube, and the light came to bring this. Now I explain yeah. you better. This is concrete because it was tied in steel, aluminum, a, a glass. Yeah. I said, please, now I want to do a wall. Yeah. <laughs> really wall. Yeah. And the wall, like uh, Lucan said, is uh, almost is one meter or one meter, one meter, say 50 centimeters. Yeah. <laughs> this is a wall. Well, yeah. This is the wall. Yeah. And then uh, we did this. But this is like a cube that you've sculpted from the inside. Yeah. And this take a light inside. Okay. This bring a light. Oh. It's completely suspended. Hmm. And there is another small project. Hmm. This is another... We have time. Eh? Tell me. Eh? We have time. Eh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I go very fast now. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, one day, one person called me and said, I am a Shimon Perth. I said, <laughs> <laughs> was in the night, always in the night. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> See, tell me, tell me, tell me. Say, no, I want to do a project because I love the project, the course that you did in Bordeaux. I want to do a project. I want to do Paris Center for Peace. Yeah. Uh, no, yes, to put together Arabs and Jewish. Hmm. Where? Oh, we have no place. This was worse than my friend Nardini. We have no sight. And budget? No. We have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Perhaps we will see with some donors. And after we say, show me something. I go to Florence. If you can come, we speak. Hmm. I don't know where, what, what is the program. And I did this model. And after we have a meeting, huh? I just said, uh, you see, this uh, the detail. Yeah, yeah. Eh? You see this. Uh, many times some people call me to see, to, to see in which way I did this detail. <laughs> I say, very easy. This is a glass, this is another glass, this is all. Yeah. <laughs> Then, uh, this is very dramatic interior. Yeah. Uh, we did uh, all these pieces, are uh, many. Uh, there are, uh, this uh, is uh, really by end, mm. the precasting. Yes. My, in the building site there. And after, it's a really dramatic inside too. And after there is a, a small convention room. Mm which are glass. To imagine that we are glass here, yeah. I say, no, we have to put glass behind. Why? You, he discover the site that he, he took, he take, is uh, 100 meters far from the sea. And I say, we have to see the sea. And we have to see if uh, there are someone some ships or some people without flag, without country, without nationality, that are coming from the sea. We have to say, we have to say, oh, come on, come on inside. 
this is the real reason of this window. This, uh, this uh, uh, is very close with the area is in Jaffa, yeah. or Yaffo, yeah. area in which uh, there is a cemetery, Arab cemetery. And this is the last picture that we had <laughs> before I died. <laughs> yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He was 92 years old. He had to leave uh, to go with some Kissinger yes. to have a lecture with him, yeah. with the 100 in Canada, with the 100 journalists. Mm. It, it was the, this, uh, we spent the last one day together. Yes. All the day, uh, he told me something very interesting. He said, there is no democracy without innovation. There is no democracy innovation without democracy. Mm. Democracy is nothing, innovation is nothing. They work together. Yeah. He told me this, and after this is in Tbilisi, uh, we did this for democracy. This is a democracy house. Yeah. For a crazy president of the republic that is very tall, yeah. <laughs> uh, he de declared war to the Russia. Yeah. You remember? I did, yes. Yeah. Saakashvili. Yeah. He wanted to do this because inside there is a, the possibility to have a passport, to have a paper document without a pay. <laughs> without pay. And this was uh, 11 uh, leaves in wood. And this is another piece that he wanted to have uh, uh, one museum and uh, one for the music. Uh, this was done by Italian company. They yeah, are not so bad. Uh, this is uh, Paris. The archive, uh, there is uh, one British guy that di did this. Show you what. We can make art team. This one, hmm. Gormley. There is a big exhibition now of Gormley. Yeah, yeah. And this he did for us. Yeah. In the water, it go through the buildings. Mm. But again, you've got the differing surfaces. The surface of water, which is moving in that picture. The surface of the building, which is very still. This is still, and yeah. that is a dramatic. Yeah. This is the place where you can live, yeah. there is a place that you archive your document. Mm. Mm. Tower, towers, <laughs> towers. Another tower, yeah. We finish this tower now. The, this, uh, this is for the use of hair. For we can call for sustainability. So <laughs> it's very sophisticated for for u using energy. Where is this? In uh, Shenzhen. Yeah. This was under construction. Yeah. And the, now there is uh, two two projects, and after we go to take uh, dinner, Not all together. <laughs> I invite you my, with my heart. <laughs> <laughs> then, do you want to know the story of this project? It's a very stupid story. I was against politics. I never liked the politics. Honestly, I have to tell you. The mayor of Roma was... Uh, Nice mayor, the best mayor that we had. Yeah. I was fighting against him because I was not really convinced, but he was very good. And after he had a never project in Roma, uh, and after happened some things that uh, uh, they wanted to do a competition for conventional. But this was just done yeah. <laughs> to someone. Yeah. 
Some another architect. Very good architect. British architect. Okay. In the jury, in the jury, was another British architect. Okay. Very distinguished architect. Okay, yeah. And the organization of the competition was done by Ricky Burdett. Yeah. I tell the name now. Huh? But after was an open competition of 700 uh, and more. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was anonymous. I was in the five, six selected. Yeah. For the short list. This was uh, the big uh, mistake. <laughs> and after I start with this idea, mm. I want to do something like a quanta, something like fractali. Mm. In, fra in fractal. a cage. Yeah. Fractals. Yeah. In a cage. They want to go out. Mm. <laughs> this was the first drawing. Said that it's, a, it's enough use on this. It's a 99. Uh, to build this, I uh, take uh, a lot of time. And after this was the model, when I won yeah. the competition. And after I build, it's, uh, it's inside uh, something I try to go out. Mm. Inside of this, there is uh, something interesting inside. Textile. Uh, it is a geometry against geometry. This yeah. geometry was, uh, this was done not uh, in that time, was uh, not the system parametric. Yeah. yeah. Not at all. It was just uh, rhino. But no parametric was very complex to... And this is inside. But we did a lot of models. Then models was the way to explain to, to everybody the project. It's interesting because one of the things I've been thinking about is that your buildings are very much about a setting for performance or for movement. And you had that one image of a dancer of... Is that one... one is it? One back? One back? I think. Mm. But anyway, what I, I suppose the question I want to ask is when you're imagining these, these spaces, um, do you imagine the way people move through them? And do you sometimes want to... Uh, you know, uh, choreograph a uh, dance? Uh, you form? know, you, you are, when do you became a little bit more with the years. Mm. You understand in this way, in the morning, around five, six o'clock in the morning, in your bed, mm. you are blind, you don't see. But you can put the light inside. We put a staircase, no. We put this light, three lights. Mm. One is direct light, one light is indirect light, another light is magic. Mm. When you put a magic light, you are blind, you don't see. Yeah. Your dream, yeah. you yeah. don't know if you are. Mm. You are not aware. Mm. You may wake. Mm. It's exactly this. It's a performance. Yeah. Then you can imagine the, the performance. You are in very strange... Mm. Situation. Mm. Uh, this is uh, they use a lot for performance. You see, yeah. this is a theater. Yeah. And uh, this is inside of this uh, big, big cloud. Mm. Everybody called this in Roma la nuvola. And inside there is one thousand eight hundred seventy yeah. sets. In only one, there is only one feet. I don't show everything. So. A point. Mm. And nobody knows that today they are very stable. Yeah. 
and it's in the night. And it's a, a glass box. Mm. Uh, and this is the last. Okay. We are perfect. <laughs> on the time. On the, <laughs> this is the first idea of the project. We were invited in China uh, 2008 for airport. I never did an airport in my life before. Yeah. Never. I say, but uh, uh, which way? What is an airport? And then uh, what happened was, uh, I tell you, what happened was that one day we are in Las Vegas, the worst pay play site in the world. No, beautiful, beautiful. We learned it from Las Vegas, okay, okay. But uh, there is a, a one client with the wife. They come and they invite us to a restaurant. You cast, I think, very bad. I never liked it. Yes. They have a box. I say, this is a gift for you. We open the box. We, we saw the paper. We didn't see what it was in the box. I don't remember. Was, I didn't care. If we saw this. It was a paper. Could be three-dimensional. Mm. It's the paper for embalage. Yeah. For sending something. Yeah. yeah. And this is was the paper. Yeah. This is the really origin of the project of Shenzhen. Mm. We we never say this. We say we, we, we did the four or five algorithms. Yeah. But this is was the beginning. Yeah. And because this after now you see, this is the light. Yeah. You bring the light all the day. Where is it? It's there. It's tight. Okay. <laughs> Can we? Oh. It's the old three dimensional. Hmm. This texture is uh, no. You see, it's a really three-dimensional. Yeah. And we did 26,000 pieces. <laughs> For this reason, there are, my friend Chinese, they are very good. But what, what this roof does is it overwhelms the retail outlets, which is quite nice. No, so you go, the, it's an airport. Yeah, yeah. Go, they, yeah. they, 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 the people live there. But we did even all these books. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We did even this one. This, okay, yeah. Because they want uh, have air conditioner, I say, but we can live without in this space, because mm. it's very high. Say, no, I, I did uh, this uh, tree. Mm. Now you understand better. Yes, uh, this is the way in which we work, mm. in which uh, Dorian and me, we try to design the landscape, always. What is for us uh, is our life. Thank you very much. Well, thank you.